Hey everybody, good afternoon, or sorry, good evening and welcome back. Um, plain and simple, we're going to do a real easy cook tonight, but uh, decided to do a video on this because I got a special guest for one, and for two, he has been hankering these since he left, and for three, got a new mod on the grill, and for four, okay, I, I'm just going to stop doing that. But uh, what, what we're going to do tonight is, uh, these are called Tiefenthalers, um, they are, they're a skinless brat, and uh, they're made in, are they originated in uh, Holstein, Iowa. Um, they're just, uh, uh, they're what, you know, they are what they say they are, you know, it's a skinless brat. But for those of you who have had a bunch of Johnsonville brats, uh, these are, I don't know, to me these are just way better. Or not way better, they're better, but they just got a different taste to it. Um, there really is no prep work whatsoever when it comes to these. You could throw a seasoning on it. Um, I season brats sometimes, sometimes I don't. Um, I like these better just how they are. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is get the grill going. I'm going to take these right out from frozen, stick them on the grill, and uh, I will give you a quick peek when I do that. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back down at the grill. First things first, uh, got a front shelf put on here. Uh, pretty dang cool. Got her nice and customized with my logo and, of course, the American flag. But uh, what we got... Oh, oh, sorry about that. We got somebody else in the picture there. But here, I'll just give you a quick peek, peek at the grill quick. Uh, just put the and Tellers on. Um, let's see if I can get in here a little closer. But what I'm doing is you put these on as frozen and you're supposed to put them on like medium-high heat and uh, cook them that way. But uh, what I like doing, especially with brats, and that's like putting them on frozen, letting them sit out at like 250, and just kind of letting them do like a like a smoke defrost. But uh, I figured maybe I'll take you around back here quick and do you a, a little mod. We have got the first, um, well, I mean, Tom Horseman had the first one, but this is the first one that uh, anybody in the general public has, and Mad Horse Barbecue has got the Tom Horseman Master Built 560 um, vent motto back here. So pretty excited to see that. There's the man behind the mod. There he is, sporting a grain belt, sporting a cool Mad Horse barbecue. What do you got to say there, uh, Dad? How's it all going, folks? How's it all going, <laughs> folks? But I'm uh, pretty excited to get this mod on there uh, because I have noticed that the wind, because um, we got some pretty high winds here in southwest Minnesota, but the wind does affect the temp, kind of the temp swings on this cooker. So I'm thinking that this is really going to help out with it. And, uh, yeah, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is let these Tiefen Tellers go at 250, probably for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to crank them up. To 350 400 and finish them off then so uh, we'll give you a quick peek probably when we crank it up so we'll see you then Alrighty, we are back we've been on for about 20 minutes so let's give you a quick peek uh, you can see they're starting to to get some decent uh some decent color but what i'm gonna go ahead now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just uh i'm gonna go ahead and turn all these not by hand obviously with some tongs i'm gonna turn them all and then i'm gonna go ahead and uh crank the temp up to 350 and then uh, probably just go for about another five minutes aside, and then I'm gonna pull them off, and it's gonna be time to eat. So uh, I'll give you a quick peek at these when it's time to eat. So we will see you then. Alrighty, we are back, and it is time to eat. Real quick, I'm gonna go over to cook times. Uh, these are brats, so obviously brats you want to take up to about a 160 internal temp. Um, put these on frozen. Put them on at 250 for 20 minutes, and then did another 20 minutes at 350, flipping them once in between. Uh, these were at about 175, 180. Uh, internal temp when we pull them off but uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a little taste test here and see what we got oh man mm. we got a thumbs up there from the man himself a Tom Horseman otherwise known as dad um, I don't have anything else to say here teeth and toddlers are great that Tom Horseman vent mod on that master belt is gonna work out awesome um, check out we do have some Mad Horse merch Sitting on Tom Horseman's head there. I, I feel wrong calling him Tom Horseman. But uh, I did go ahead and get some hats made. So look at, um, go ahead and look out for some uh, giveaways on that. But uh, yeah, besides that, that's about all I got. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat. You guys and girls have a good night. And uh, got anything to say? Thanks for watching. All right, we'll see you next time.